Hey everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this card that you see here today with the Lovely Layers Magnolia die set, which is absolutely stunning. I'm also going to be using the Burlap A2 background die. You can see that I've cut that uh, paper, the white paper with that die, and it's just going to create this really fun texture on my card front. I'm also going to be using the Bitty Buzz Cutter to cut my Magnolia dies. And you can see that I have my white cardstock in my Bitty Buzz Cutter. What I like to do is I like to cut a bunch of three inch strip white cardstock pieces uh, just to have on my desk to run through my buzz cutter so that when I wanna cut smaller dies like these ones, my buzz cutter is just perfect for that. This little um, die cutting machine is just so great. It folds up, it's really compact, and it does a really awesome job of die cutting. So I do really enjoy it. I highly recommend it, and I have linked it in the description box below. So if you're considering a small die cutting machine, this one's really great. So what I like to do with my lovely layers is I like to line them up all in order of their layers and by the way you can see a graphic on the honeybee site how to layer these it's super easy you really won't need the graphic but if you want to check it it is there on the honeybee site and i am using some dusty concord and i'm also going to be using villainous potion on my magnolias um i wanted to do to do something different for the color and I love purple, so these two colors of purple are just gorgeous together. So I start off with the Dusty Concord and then I blend on a little bit of the Villainous Potion. I am using Oxide inks, I'm using my Honey Bee blending brushes, and I'm also using my Waffle Flower stencil mat, which is perfect for ink blending because your paper just sticks nicely to the to that silicone mat and it makes blending a whole lot easier so um, all of these tools are really helpful I also have my ink pad to the left there in my ink stand I only have one ink stand I really should buy myself some more but um, I do really like them and you can just see how the oxide inks fit nicely into that ink stand and it's just makes it easier to pick up your ink. So I'm going to blend all of those different pieces in exactly the same way and you can just see how pretty they are when they're all layered up. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it's just the same thing over and over but I do blend um, those two purples on these four pieces, the four larger pieces of the magnolia and I die cut these twice so I'm going to have two magnolias on my card and what I did, and you'll see this in, in a little bit, is I added a little bit of weathered wood to these as well, just a little bit of gray. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. To the center pieces, I'm going to add some wild honey and some scattered straw. I'm also going to add a little bit of gathered twigs. And you can see I'm using a really small brush. Honeybee has two different sets of blending brushes. They have the larger set, and then they also have a detailed set. The detailed sets are really great for these tiny little pieces like the center of my magnolia. I wanted to just add a little bit of brown to that larger piece there. You can see how nicely these layer together and that's just going to be the perfect finish for the center of my magnolia here. I'll just show you how this all looks when it's layered together. I will um, adhere these together just with some liquid adhesive uh, really really easy to to put these together and I think this just creates just the most gorgeous bloom I am going to use peeled paint and forest moss for the leaves and I did cut four leaves I wanted to start with the peeled paint just for my base color and then I add a little bit of the forest moss just to one side just to create a little bit of variation and depth in the color and you'll just see me here going into the forest moss now which is just a really rich dark green i love this color so much and you'll just see i'm just adding that to the underside of the leaf just to add that little bit of depth almost to make it look like there's a shadow and highlight i don't really care about stuff like that but it does just really make my leaves look a little bit more interesting so that's what i was going for you can see how pretty those are now and i did do those twice i am going to add some of that weathered wood as i mentioned earlier and you can just see how this just adds that little bit of gray which is really unexpected and it's not really something that you would maybe normally think to add to the to the magnolia but i just thought it added some really nice depth to the bloom and you can just see how pretty that looks and it it's really um 
looks nice with the purple for sure so there you can see my two uh, bl blossoms are all adhered together now I have adhered that burlap a2 cover onto my card front which is just an a2 side fold card uh, base and I thought I wanted to just glue these both down flat and then I changed my mind and decided to put that bottom magnolia up on a little bit of foam adhesive so I'm just going to grab it off there before the glue dries I'll add a little bit of foam adhesive to the back of that and then put it back in the same place I just wanted to pop it up a little bit so that it's a little bit more dimensional laying over top of the other one just think it makes it look a little bit more realistic and so I'll add that down there and now I wanted to add some white splatter you can see that I added the leaves in I'm just going to add a little bit of Dina Wakely white gloss spray just with a paintbrush here just splattering that on it just adds a little bit more dimension finishes the card off a little bit you could add splatters with gold um, with the honeybee watercolor um, shimmery watercolor product that we just came out with recently lots of different ways that you could add that um, splatter now this is a gorgeous sentiment this is the foil script wishes sentiment that is a hot foil plate with a coordinating die there's I think six sentiments in that set it's a really great set be sure to check it out it's the foil script wishes I've linked it up below along with all of the other products I've used today so you can click those links to find those products in the shop I'm adding a little bit of foam adhesive to the tip of each of the leaves to give them a little dimension you'll also see me curling up the petals of the blossoms just to give them a little more lift and that's going to finish my card today the lovely layers are always stunning and there's a bunch of la lovely layers in this current collection in the perfect day collection make sure you check them out in the lovely layers section if you just go to the website honeybees website and search lovely layers and they'll all come up and if you haven't started your lovely layers collection yet why not start with the magnolia it's beautiful and I love the lovely layers so much they just make such pretty cards thank you so much for joining me today friends I really appreciate that you um, stopped by to watch me making my card today and like I said make sure you check the description box a show more section just click on that little v at the underneath the video and it will pop down all of the different links that I have included for the video today have an amazing day friends and I will see you next Friday stay well take care bye bye